What's up everybody, welcome back to Bullshot Darts. If you're looking to learn how to throw darts like the pros, you are in the perfect spot because in this video, I'm gonna go over the two most important elements of the darts throw. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video because at the end, I am gonna tell you the most important thing that you could ever hear about throwing your darts. So make sure you stick around for that, guys. But first, if you are not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. And if you find this video helpful, drop it a thumbs up and give it a share. Also, head over to bullshotdarts.com where you can pick up some bullshot apparel. So before I get into this video, I want to say that when you're practicing these things, don't overthink what you're throwing at because we're just working on the elements of the throw. What we hit is not important, so I'm not even going to show my dartboard in this video because I don't want you guys to possibly get discouraged if you're not hitting your target right away because that's not important right now. What's important is that you're working on these elements because once you master these things, then your darts will be better than ever when you do start aiming. So let's get into it, guys. The first thing you need to work on is your follow through. Anything that involves throwing, a follow through is the most important part of the throw. A good follow through is going to help you with your accuracy and your consistency. So you need to make sure that you are having a full follow through, a full extended arm every time you throw your dart. Now there's two different ways that you could work on this. One of my favorite ways is pointing at your target. So Let's pretend I'm throwing at the bullseye, and I don't care if I hit the bullseye or not because what's important to me, like I said, is making sure I'm having that full follow through. So I'm gonna point at it on my throw. I'm gonna point at it on my throw. Point at it on my throw, okay? So pointing at your target is gonna be a good way to make sure that you are following through every time. Now, another thing, I just read this the other day and I thought it was a great idea. Another thing you could do is take a step back from your dart line. So I'm gonna end up off the shot here, but this is where I normally stand. If I take one step backwards, yeah, I'm out of the camera shot, hi guys, but <laughs> now I'm further away from the dartboard, so it's gonna force me to put more oomph behind my throw. So I'm gonna need that extra oomph by having a full follow through. So now from back here, I can throw and I got that full follow through. Now, if you combine this with your pointing, yeah, you can point at your target too, but th from throwing back there, you know, it's just gonna force you to have that full follow through, which is most important. So make sure you have that full follow through, guys. And I get uh, some comments here or there like, well, a good follow through isn't that important. Look at Johnny Clayton, he doesn't have a full follow through. Yes, there are players out there that don't have a full follow through, but there are exceptions to the rule. I guarantee you, if you ask Johnny Clayton about a good follow through, he's going to recommend that you have a great follow through. He'll probably tell you, don't mimic my throw because I don't have a full follow through. Make sure that you're following through. All right, the next part here is you want all of the action coming from your elbow. All right, we don't want any shoulder movement in our darts throw. We want it to all come from our elbow. And we want that elbow and arm to come straight back and straight forward, okay? Straight back, straight forward. We want that elbow on a hinge to where it's going straight back, straight forward every single time. What this is gonna do, it's gonna make sure that your dart is, well, flying straight every single time. It's gonna eliminate those misses to the left or the right. Now, of course, even if you master that hinge, the best dart players in the world, they still do miss to the left or right, but once you get really good at bringing it straight back, straight forward, you're generally only gonna miss high or low of your target. So it's gonna help big time. So now combine this with your full follow through. Now I just want you to think about that straight back, straight forward and pointing at your target, having that full follow through. Straight back, straight forward, full follow through. And we want to eliminate that shoulder movement. I mostly see shoulder movement on dart players that hold their darts way out here. So one of my biggest recommendations for players is to always shorten your backswing. Now this doesn't work for everyone, but you know, it's just something you could give a shot. But the less things we have moving up here, the less room there's gonna be for mistakes. So if you hold your dart way out here, we have all this room to make a mistake on our backswing. Whereas if we have a shorter backswing, there's just much less room for mistakes there. So guys, those are the two most important elements of a throw is that uh, fully extended follow through and making sure your elbow is on a hinge, straight back, straight forward. So now we are gonna get into the most important part of your darts throw right here, guys. This is what you need to hear. 
So we talk about these guidelines of a full follow through, a shorter backswing, don't move the shoulder. There's all these different guidelines on how to throw your dart, but at the end of the day, there is no right way to throw a dart. The best way for you to throw a dart is what is comfortable for you. The most important thing about your darts throw is the consistency, guys. So why I recommend a full follow through. Your throw will be more consistent if you're forcing yourself to fully extend because your arm is gonna end in this same position every time a fully extended arm. If you don't have a full follow through, now you need to worry about your arm stopping in this position every single time. So if you fully extend, your arm is stopping at the same spot because your arm can't go any further. If you're stopping here, you might stop here sometimes. You might stop here sometimes. So you want to make sure it's consistent. So if you do not have a full follow through and working on a full follow through is making your darts worse, that's fine. Focus on the consistency of your arm. So Johnny Clayton, for example, when he releases dart and doesn't have a full follow through, he's stopping pretty close to the same spot, if not the same spot every single time. So consistency is what is most important. Same with your backswing. If you hold your arm all the way out here when you're bringing your arm back, yeah, there's all this room to make mistakes. And even if you do drop your arm a little bit, if you're doing the same throw every single time, it is consistent every single time, your darts will start to fall. I'm sure you guys have seen the video floating around of that kid. He like grabs his dart, he does this and then he throws. Now there's a lot of room for mistakes in there and that might be one of the worst throws that I've ever seen, but if he masters that throw and throws that same exact way every single time, that's fine because these guidelines are all to help your consistency, okay? So that's it guys. So if you're struggling with these different guidelines and it's hurting your darts, Focus on mastering your throw. Focus on mastering what's comfortable for you. And you're going to do that by working on the consistency of your throw. Okay, guys? So work on the consistency of your throw, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop the video a thumbs up. There should be some videos that popped up over here if you're watching on YouTube. I'll see you all in the next one. And shoot well.